Welcome, I'm Lee Camp. Now let's take the news from behind. Over the past two months, we've learned a lot of things about the U.S. health care system. One of them is that cities and states could not and still cannot get the supplies they need. They've needed ventilators, tests, protective gear. Hey, it got to the point nurses in New York City were wearing uh, slices of pizza across their faces. And knowing New York probably using dead rats for gloves. Governor Andrew Cuomo has done day after day of press conferences, often begging for help and more equipment, so much so that he, he's, uh, he's clearly started to lose it a little. Let's start with some indisputable facts today. Today is Saturday. That is a fact. Indisputable. I'm s somebody probably could dispute it, but I will stand by that factual determination. Thank God we had him there to tell us the day of the week. I hope he also clarifies which hole to pee out of, because things are getting pretty critical on this side of the desk. Help me, Andy! Andy! I need to know which hole! Something neither Andrew Cuomo nor pretty much any other U.S. governor or congressperson or Trump administration officials have realized is that unfettered capitalism and the corporate capture of our government is responsible for these shortages. Cuomo started to get it. He was, he started, the other day he started to. He was, he was on the cusp, on the cusp of figuring out why we can't get enough coronavirus tests in America. Watch this clip and, wa and watch, his, watch his little brain just... It's, it's churning so hard. There are about 30 private companies, large private companies in the country that are even international. 30 large companies make equipment to test. And they all have their own test. Okay, so you have the ACME test, the this test, the this test, the this test. Those 30 companies have been selling their machines to local laboratories. And that's their business. They make a machine, Roche makes a machine, they then sell it to people, you have to buy their machine, and they then sell these local labs their testing protocol, because their test works on their machine. So you buy the Roche machine, you then have to buy the Roche test from the Roche Corporation. You buy the Acme machine, you then have to buy the Acme test from the Acme Corporation. Then every time the lab goes to run that test, if I'm running the Acme test, I have to have the Acme equipment and the Acme vial, and the Acme swab, and the Acme reagents. Ah! Ah! So even if a hospital gets access or is gifted extra tests or extra test reading machines, unless they have the right kind that work with the right kind of machine, they can't actually test people. It's useless. Why would these corporations all use different tests and different swabs and different machines and different reagents rather than working together. Rather than going, you have a swab? Well, fuck it, do da! I have a swab reading machine. Wow, why don't we work together? Why is that? Well, I'll, exp I'll explain it to you with an object. Here it is, an Apple charger. The most hated object in the known world. Why, why is it this thing doesn't work with any other computer? The iPhone chargers don't work with any other phones. The, the, the chargers change every two years so that we have to sit there trying to stick a square peg in a round hole looking like a monkey trying to win a grape. <laughs> because Apple wants as much profit as possible. And making sure you buy their charger and you buy a new one every two years, that makes them money. Just like Acme making sure you buy the Acme COVID-19 test to go with your Acme machines makes them money. They are literally putting profit over lives. People die because Acme 
doesn't want their tests to work with a different machine. And Andrew Cuomo got so close to realizing the market economy was the problem, but then he couldn't quite get there. Because admitting it would be like denying our own religion. Anyway, putting, putting profits above our lives is also one of the many reasons workers are striking around the country and around the world right now. They're striking for better pay, for better protective gear, for better treatment. Amazon workers want to be able to poop more than once a week.